Sup? Zags! Name's Zeodi. And we're back with some more of the prom dreams. In the last part, we got a rope. That's it. We got a rope. A rope, I do not know where it goes, but ooh, ooh, ooh. A bloodstained note lies on the ground. I know what you're thinking, Kyle. Why this? Why me? Why does every girl I fall in love with have to die horribly and painfully? Maybe if you look around and retrace your steps, you'll find out. Damn it. What the hell is she up to now? Okay, well, we got her clue. And that clue is to, uh, go back into the big place. The big school building and, uh, jump inside every single room in hopes we find something. <laughs> um... Ooh, I think I found some- oh wait, I still don't have access to this room. Huh. That's so odd. And I'm pretty sure this one's just closed out because of the hole in the ground. So, uh... This will be a BRB room. And we'll try every single other room. And hopes we finally find something. And when we do find something, I'll be sure to cut it to you guys. Sorry guys that I didn't read that out loud. I kind of just assumed that it wasn't something super important. But if you guys did read it along with me, then you'll know that it kind of kind of is a key importance to who Dolores is. And it was kind of kind of just saying that um she's been patient. She's been doing what she's been doing. She's been trying to hold on for the longest that she could, but I guess she just broke in the end. It's a bit sad. Anyways, we're going to continue and look for where we got to go. Did I read this? I feel like I haven't read this yet. A book rests on a table. It covers read The Testimony of the Mastermind. Huh? This was in here before, was it? Wait a minute. This one's different from the others. That title, The Mastermind. That's why Claire kept calling Brooke. I wonder. <clears throat> Yes. Oh, are we finally going to see what Claire did to Brooke? I mean, what Brooke did to Claire? Honey, please. Will you just calm down for... Don't you dare, honey, me, you piece of shit. God, Edgar. What the hell have you done? That was our money, our daughter's money, and you wasted it all on a goddamn Vegas orgy with your little DC frat buddies. She was going to Yale with that money, and now you've, you've... Jesus, Fran, don't you think I know all that? Don't you think I regret it? Ha, as if a filthy, lying, cheating rat like you could even entertain the concept of regret. The only reason I'm not calling the press and my attorney this second is because I don't want to ruin Brooke's life more than it already has been. Fran, get out, just get out of my sight, Edgar. I don't care which of your mistresses you run off to, just get the hell out of my house. Daddy. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Even I never thought you could screw up this badly. Well, screw him. I never needed his help anyway. I'll find my own way into Yale, and one day, I'll be laughing at that bastard from the Oval Office. Even if I have to kill to get there. Ooh, wow. Why does she really, 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 really want to go to Yale? Like, what is it specifically? Is it all about her image? How she has to be the number one? But like, what what induced that, you know? Let's see. Let's see. It should be around here somewhere. Heh. <laughs> Mackenzie really is an airhead, isn't she? For getting to log out of the staff computer like this. For shame. Ah, here it goes. The grades database. Whoever graduates with the highest GPA gets the honor of valedictorian. 
and that person gets a full scholarship for the school of their choice. If my name's at the top of this list... <gasps> no way. It can't be. I'm only second highest? Me? Shit, this is bad. Without that scholarship, I... I... Well then, who's the smartest trying to steal my title, I wonder? Dolores Roth? That little trust fund baby. Ugh. I can't let myself be undone by some goddamn crippled girl. I have to do something about her. Something that will get her out of the picture entirely. Or at least make her grade suffer. Brooke, is that you? Come on, you know students aren't allowed behind the desk. <clears throat> oh, Miss McKenzie. Sorry about that. I was just looking for my earring, that's all. I didn't mean to break any rules. Yeah, d don't mind me as I just turned off the computer. Just, just looking for my earrings. Oh gosh, do you need me to help you look for it? I just found it, actually. But I appreciate the offer. Now if you'll excuse me. Come on, Miss McKenzie, how can you be so dense? It's because she's number two and she's quote unquote so nice. <laughs> Just listen to me, how I was so all about being on Claire's back and stuff. I mean, on Brooke's back. And now we see the demons in her and I'm just like, screw her. <laughs> I mean, to, to be fair, Brooke was always, we always had a got a hint of that two-facedness since uh, Dolores' reveal. So, I say this is a this is a proper response. <laughs> what I need now is a plan, something damaging but also discreet. Whether she drops out of school entirely or tries to kill herself, it won't matter as long as I can get my hands on that scholarship. But I won't be able to pull this off alone. I'm going to need help, and I think I know just the people to ask. Oh wow! Jesus, Brooke, I had no idea you were like this, that you could be so cruel. Was there anything we shared together all oh, just a part of your plan to ruin somebody else? Oh my god, I think I'm starting to understand why Dolores hated you so much. But still, to kill so many people over it? Whew, I mean she- ah, ah god. Brooke did say she didn't care if Dolores died or not. So, I don't know. Oh, this book is different. Ooh, this one must be Neela. It seems that, I mean, we don't know because I never actually dated Brooke, but it seems that all this the objective or the checkpoint is to go back to the place where we helped made the, the girl whatever we wanted to make to ask her to prom. Read the book? Yes. Ooh, now this is interesting. How bad is Neela, really? I mean, she's a liar, supposedly, but... How bad is it? Huh? A favor? What kind of favor? Hmm, well, how do I put this? I need you to deliver a message for me. Essentially. Oh, well, that sounds reasonable enough, I guess. So... Who did you want me to talk to? You know Dolores, right? Dolores Roth? Dolores? Oh. She's the one whose family owns that big energy company, right? Yeah, I know her. We take Spanish together. Ah, good. That simplifies things. Now, here. What I want you to tell her. Kyle Mason from his senior class wants to invite her to prom. He would ask her himself, but he's too shy. Oh my god. Okay, now what did I physically do? What did Kyle physically do to Dolores? Because if Dolores is able to see this, then clearly she knows that it was all of Brooke's plan in the beginning, you know? Huh? Kyle is asking her to prom? I had no idea. I, I didn't think they were. <laughs> You almost seem disappointed, Neela. But here's the thing, he isn't. But wait, I... 
if he's not really going to ask her, then... Brooke, you're not asking me to lie to her, are you? Aren't you quick on the uptake? Why, yes, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. Dolores is... Well, let's just say she's standing between me and my big ticket to success. I need some way to knock her off her high horse. And I figured that a small helping of humiliation would serve to do just that. No way, absolutely not. I don't know what Dolores could have done to you, and I don't really want to know, to be honest, but what you're doing is horrible. Lying to a girl about a boy liking her is one of the cruelest things you could do, and you want to do it to a special needs student? I... I don't know what made you think I'd help you, but I've got half a mind to tell Dolores myself what you're up to. Ever the honest one I see. No wonder you're one of the darlings of St. Giles. In fact, you're so sickeningly sweet to people that it makes me want to puke just thinking about it. But I have to wonder, how much of that kindness of yours is genuine, and how much of it is overcompensation for your father's crimes? <laughs> what are you? Come on, Nila, quit playing dumb. Although admittedly, you've become quite good at doing that. You see, my father has more than a few friends in high places, including the FBI. I'm assuming you've been in the States long enough to know what that is, hmm? Th that's... Mahendra Devar, successful businessman, a devoted husband and father by day. But according to the regional chief in a few shots of whiskey, he moonlights as a middleman for the Mafia. Even back in India, he was complicit in all sorts of criminal activities, drug trafficking, weapons trafficking, human trafficking. Even someone as blissfully in denial as you could see where I'm going with this. No, no you can't. Oh, I most certainly can. I wonder what would happen to your family if I leaked this all to the press. Perhaps Daddy Dearest might get tipped off and go on the run. Or perhaps he'll spend the rest of his life behind bars. Either way, your fantasy of the perfect home life shatters instantly. And really, that's all that matters for my purposes. So what do you think? One teeny, tiny, harmless little lie, or the complete destruction of your life as you know it. The choice is yours, dear Neela. I... Brooke, please, don't do this. I... I'll do whatever you want, but I'm begging you, don't tear my family apart. Oh my god, Neela was blackmailed. That's a good girl. Don't you worry, the skeletons in your father's closets are safe with me. Now then, you've already proven yourself to be quite the liar by keeping such a dark secret for so long. Surely spinning convincing tale to Dolores would be second nature to you. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't look so gloom. If anything, this gives you the chance to have Kyle all for yourself. Although... Do be aware that you may have some competition, should you try and make your move on him. In any case, we'll talk more later. I've still got one more connection I need to take advantage of. See you around, Neela. Oh man, that is just evil! So, remember when we went to... We went to Brooke at the library and she was like, Oh, he can have Neela for all he wants. He'll find out soon. I guess this is what she meant. She meant that I would learn about her father or something like that. Ooh. Twisted. I mean, in all things fairness, it really isn't Neela's fault. She she got blackmailed. But then again, at the time, I suppose that um I suppose that Dolores didn't know what was happening until she made the 
pact with a demon. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Dolores, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I lied to you. You're going to be heartbroken and it'll be all my fault. I never wanted to hurt you like this. I never wanted to hurt anyone. But I... I didn't have a choice. I had to keep my family together. Please forgive me. I hope you'll understand one day. Nope, she cut off your tongue. She was she was really not understanding at all. And Kyle, you didn't deserve to be used like this either. Maybe if things had been different, I could have told you how I felt for the right reasons. Uh, okay, so I think the real quote-unquote truth is the fact that Neela lied to Dolores and that he'll he'll figure out what all the hoopla is when I guess Dolores was crushing on Kyle because of it and Kyle probably had to be like WTF shoulder it away <laughs> so I guess that's that's what was the real uh, Brooke being like oh he'll find out soon sort of a thing sort of thing Neela you were being used this whole time you would if all that stuff about your dad was true I I don't blame you for putting your family first me neither and the fact that this book is here can only mean one thing Dolores knew she knew Neela was being taken advantage of and she punished her anyway damn you Dolores yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm saying. Dolores knows. She probably didn't know at the time, but by the time she made a pact with a demon and set it all of this up, she knew. And she still, she still killed Neela, which was not fair at all. That's just so messed up. Man. Like, I can understand her killing Brooke, but... Neela? Come on. Not Neela. She was blackmailed hard into this. Alright. Eh. Eh. Gotta be careful. Your book rests on the floor. Its cover reads The Testimony of the Forger. Read the book. Oh my god. Remember when I would have the girl with me? And I would talk to like Maggie or or whoever, and they like gave each other darts and stuff, or they were like very awkward and uncomfortable with each other. Oh man, that explains so much. I'm talking about on prom night, by the way. In, in case I wasn't clear about that, because I feel like I wasn't. Anyways. Oh good, you're here. I was worried you wouldn't make it. Looks like our beloved MVP has time to spare for the rest of us common folk after all. Cut the crap, Brooke. We both know you wouldn't have called me over if you didn't need something. Hmm. That's an awfully rude way to talk to the person who got you into state. You know, I risked expulsion helping you fix your SAT scores last year, right? I would think you'd be a bit more grateful. Okay, so... Wow, alright. That explains how she got her ride into states without having to study at all. Okay, everything's so dirty. <laughs> so, that's what this is about? Damn. And here I was hoping I wouldn't have to worry about you coming back to bite me in the ass. Come on, Maggie. You really thought I'd forget about the deal we made back then? I don't give those kind of favors out for free. You knew from the beginning you'd have to pay me back one day. I'm just coming to collect on your debt. That's all. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, nothing much. Just help me ruin a poor girl's life, that's all. You know Dolores Roth, right? Well, it turns out that she has something I want. Namely, the valedictorian title. Huh? Wait, you're going after her? Actually, I take that back. You would be the one to pick on a girl in a wheelchair, wouldn't you? What can I say? I'm an opportunist. I can't afford to discriminate if I'm going to get what I want. Jeez, it's like I made a deal with the goddamn devil or something. Oh, don't be so dramatic. And you can't exactly call me the devil when you were the one willing to cheat to get your scholarship. 
But that's beside the point. You know your way around the school's social media page, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Perfect. Well, then, here's what you're going to do. You're going to make a post in Kyle Mason's name. In that post, you're going to insinuate that he wants to take the lower to prom. Now, I don't care how you do it, just as long as it's believable. Just because she's disabled doesn't mean she's stupid after all. And that's it? What a load! You seriously can't do all of this yourself? Why the hell do you need me, huh? Hmm, well, I suppose I could, but why would I when I have a perfectly good fall girl to blame if things go wrong? You. And if I say no, then you can kiss your basketball career goodbye. I'll tell Dr. Ackerman all about your bogus SAT scores, minimizing my own involvement, of course. You lose your scholarship and possibly your title as well. All your dreams and ambitions would come crashing down before you. Are you really willing to take that risk, Maggie? Fine, I'll do it. But after this, we're even. Nowhere making me do your dirty work, got that? Loud and clear, Maggie. I'm glad we could reach an agreement on this. And don't think I'm giving you the short end of the stick here. Well, I am, but there's something in it for you as well. We all know that Kyle is way too honest to ever go along with something like this. He's what we call an extraneous variable, you see. And in order to control that variable, we have to make absolutely sure he goes to prom with someone else, preferably one of us. <gasps> Wait a second, are you saying? I'm saying that this will be the perfect opportunity to score yourself a free prom date with a popular student, no less. In fact, why don't we make it into a game, you and I? Whoever can get Kyle to ask him out to prom wins. Surely the sportswoman and you can't say no to that. But wasn't it for her? Alright then, you're on. Just try not to cry yourself to sleep when I win him over. Wow, she wasn't even interested in me in the first place. She threw that basketball in my face on purpose. What the hell? I mean, granted, we ended up winning her heart. As you guys know from her death scene. But still. Damn. Neela was the only one who honestly liked me in the first place. Wow, that's... That's terrible. Damn it, Brooke. You just can't let go of a good opportunity to screw people over, can you? I can't believe I'm actually going along with this. Humiliating an innocent person wasn't exactly how I planned on ending my high school career. Grr, snap out of it, Maggie. It's just one stupid page, and then you can put that two-faced snake behind you for good. It may not be fair to Dolores, but... But who cares about her anyway? This is my future we're talking about. I'm not going to lose it all to that bitch Brooke. And at the end of the day, it's it's all about yourself, isn't it? For all three of them, Ashley. Neela being guilty with wanting to hide her father's secret. Uh, even though she probably is the most innocent of all three of them, still. It is all about in it for themselves. Ah, high school age. <laughs> but I'll show her. Oh, I'll definitely show her. When I steal Kyle away from under her nose, she's gonna regret ever messing with me. But Brooke isn't even interested in me. She honestly isn't even interested in me. She just wants to use me. Jeez, Maggie. I had no idea. You always did hate to lose, but this was one situation where you really couldn't win, could you? Deep down, I know you didn't want to hurt anyone. If someone held my future hostage like yours was, I don't know what I'd do either. True. Also true. I, I, I'd probably... I'd probably... <laughs> I'd probably go along with it as well. But I guess Dolores didn't see it that way. In her eyes, you were just as guilty as the others. In her eyes, you all deserve to die. And no matter what you may have done, I'll never forgive her for that. 
Yeah, that that portion is true. I mean, I, I'm okay with what she ended up doing to... It's locked. There's this guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. But, yeah, I'm okay with the fact of what she did to... What's his face? To what her face? Brooke? I'm okay that Brooke died now. Like, I'm just ever so slightly more okay. Granted, she was pushed to that position because of her father. But still, this was a bit too extreme. You know? Like, clearly the mother said that she was more than willing to whatever to get her to Yale and stuff. And the father was the one that messed it up. But I I'm, I'm sure that Brooke could have done, like, other things. You know? Alright, so I searched all three of... I saw all, all the girls, three girls pass. But what is it that I need to do? That's the next question. Huh. Oh my god. A sparkly on the bed that I could not see. Oh my god. What's this? Looks like a scapel. No. No doubt she has something in mind for me to do with this. Guess I've got no choice but to play along. Take the scapel. I got a feeling I know what this is for. And I think it's for that body in the bias biology room or chemistry room. I think it's the biology room. Because it's the hint there was to cut it open, right? To just stab in sometimes. So, biology room. And yes, it's this one. Use an item. Scapel. <laughs> Use the rope. Tie it down. It's kind of along the dotted line, eh? I can already tell this is going to suck. Deep breaths. Easy does it. Ugh, it's very squishy. Ah, jeez. Ugh, the fact that I'm starting to expect this sort of thing is pretty disturbing to be honest. Still, I did get a key from all that. It's progress, I suppose. You got the key of heartbreak. Really, where does the key of heartbreak go? I need to get out of here before I get sick. Alright, let's get that up. Alright, I honestly have no clue. Oh, uh -huh, heartbreak. There we go. Yes. Oh, did did I interrupt someone? Well, I'm sorry. I guess I'll just have to come back tomorrow because, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it off. That said, I hope you all been enjoying Prom Dreams. I feel like this is a good stopping point so we can all take in what we saw with Neela, Maggie, and Brooke judge our own opinions on them based on what we've seen and judge Dolores for still killing them even after knowing that Brooke was the one who set it all up but hey there's still some ways to go and hopefully by the next part we'll make it to the finale that said I'll see you guys tomorrow with more prom dreams like the videos if you enjoyed and ciao